Yeah, so I guess what I'll talk about tonight is the uh, interesting phenomenon of patsy roles that I see being played by Miley Cyrus, Tom Hanks, other people that I think either knew or might have known all along. Or, you know, the sad part is some of them may have just, just sort of figured it out. And why it's sad, not, you know, not in a defensive way, is the, is the fact that it's fooling, the target audience then is the counter-narrative or the conspiracy theorist. And for a lot of this stuff that's coming out, okay, you know, it's actually sort of like acclimating it, people into a state of resistance and then enticing those people deeper, but the problem is is that they're obviously using people that the conspiracy theorists felt like were fooled themselves, you know, or like in other words, it puts them above the conspiracy theorists to now entice the conspiracy theorists, and for that reason I don't really like that because, you know, it was, you know, the conspiracy theorists was right all along and over them, you know, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe. So, you know, I think that needs to be said. I need to speak on behalf of the conspiracy theorists, despite, you know, because there could be, it could be anybody. It could be certain politicians who I won't even name, but, you know, mainstream media people, other people that I think are essentially, they don't know or they might know later that they're basically kind of purposely inf inflaming the idea that there is a, uh, conspiracy or a state of corruption in the world, you know, because it's, it's totally within Tom Hanks's uh, demeanor that he would do something tongue-in-cheek like that. Of, I think Obama should run for a third term, you know, so, yeah. So, um, you know, nothing against them, I'm just, I just want to speak on behalf of the uh, conspiracy theorists, you know. There's a lot of things that get done by basically protecting and upholding the persona of the conspiracy theorist. Now I'm not saying that for a personal reason. I actually uh, adopt and imitate and try to um, up the reputation of the conspiracy theorist, the independent investigator the typical Mel Gibson character from the movie Conspiracy Theorist, you know, because that kind of person right there is who's going to save the species, the human species. 